The Battle of the Argenta Gap was an engagement which formed part of the Allied Spring 1945 offensive during the Italian campaign in the final stages of the Second World War. It took place in northern Italy from 12 the 19th of April 1945 between troops of British V Corps commanded by Lieutenant General Charles Keekley and German units of 76 Panzer Corps commanded by Lieutenant General Gerhard von Schwerin. Chapter 1 Background The Allied invasion of Italy occurred during September 1943 for a number of key reasons not least important of which was that support for the war in Italy had been declining and it was thought that an invasion would hasten the efforts of the new government that had deposed Benito Mussolini, which was seeking peace. Furthermore, the weakening of Axis control of the Mediterranean supply routes eased the pressure on Allied forces operating in the Middle and Far East, as well as on the efforts to supply to Soviet Union. Operation Husky, the invasion of Sicily in July 1943, was successful, serving as a springboard for the invasion of the mainland. In September, the first Allied troops to land in Italy were of the British 8th Army under the then General Bernard Montgomery, in Operation Baytown. Further landings on 9 September 1943 saw the main attack force landing, despite the Italian surrender to the Allied forces on the previous day. After securing the beachheads, the US 5th Army began its advance northwards. By the winter of 1944-45 the Allied armies had penetrated the main defences of the Gothic Line but had failed to break out into the Po River Valley. A new major offensive was planned for the spring of 1945, when improving weather would allow the Allies to take advantage of their superior air power and armoured and motorised ground forces. Chapter 2 – Order of Battle Formations and Units Involved in the Battle 15th Army Group, Lieutenant General Mark Clark. British 8th Army, Lieutenant General Richard McCreary. British V Corps, Lieutenant General Charles Keatley. 56th Infantry Division, Major General John E. Whitfield. 24th Guards Brigade. 167th Infantry Brigade. 169th Infantry Brigade. 2nd Commando Brigade 9th Armoured Brigade 78th Infantry Division, Major General Keith Arbuthnot 11th Infantry Brigade 36th Infantry Brigade 38th Infantry Brigade 2nd Armoured Brigade German Army Group C, General Heinrich von Fietinghoff German 10th Army Lieutenant General Traugott Hare. 76 Panzer Corps, Lieutenant General Gerhard von Scherin. 162nd Infantry Division, Major General Ralph von Hagendorf. 42nd Jaeger Division, Major General Walter Jost. 362nd Infantry Division, Brigadier General Lois Weber. In Army Reserve. 29th Panzergrenadier Division, Major General Fritz Polak. Chapter 3, Prelude As a preliminary to the main operation, a commando assault was launched across Lake Kamakio on 1 April to secure the right flank of the 8th Army for the coming battle to seize the spit, the narrow isthmus between the eastern shore of Lake Kamakio and the Adriatic Sea. This would secure the eastern flank of the 8th Army and also allow trials to be carried out in secret of the suitability of using newly arrived LVT tracked landing craft for subsequent larger operations in the muddy and difficult conditions of Lake Kamakio. The operation was successful, although the LVTs failed dismally, becoming hopelessly bogged down. It was in this raid that Corporal Thomas Peck Hunter of 43 Commando posthumously received the Victoria Cross for his actions. Two nights later further actions by the Special Boat Service supported by Italian partisans of the 28th Garibaldi Brigade captured islands in the middle of the lake. Danish National, Major Anders Lassen a patrol commander of the Special Boat Service was killed in a subsequent fighting reconnaissance, and was awarded a Victoria Cross posthumously. The 56th Infantry Division also made a preliminary attack on 6 May April to secure its starting line for the Argenta Gap operation. By 8 April, 
after meeting stiff resistance, it had completed its task in clearing the wedge, an area from the southern tip of Lake Himakia where it meets the Reno River to the Fossa di Navigazione. The main 8th Army offensive across the Senio River commenced on 9 April and by 12 April the assault units had advanced to consolidate across the Santerno River and allow 78th Infantry Division to pass through towards the Reno River and the Argenta Gap. The Argenta Gap was a well-defended strip of land some two miles wide and eight miles deep between Lake Camacchio and the Lombardy Marshes, south of the town of Ferrara. Chapter 4 The Battle On the night of 10-11 of April, British V Corps launched Operation Impact Plane to widen and deepen its bridgehead in the wedge, 40th Commando advanced along the raised causeway bordering the Lake Weil, from 56th Division, 169th Brigade advanced on the commandos left across the flooded margins of the lake with two battalions in LVTs. The 56th Division's 167th Brigade advanced from the wedge along the Reno flood banks. The commando column met stiff resistance at the bridge northeast of Menet, and took heavy casualties but were able to take the objective with the assistance of air support. 42nd Jaeger Division seems to have been taken by surprise by their opponent's amphibious capacity and seemed somewhat unnerved by the LVTs emerging from the water so that by daylight on 12 April all three columns had made some four miles headway, linking up in the Menet Longastrino area. 169th Brigade then pushed forward on the road towards Philo and 167th Brigade continued up the Reno rolling up the German defences as far as the confluence with the Santerno River to link with the Italian Cremona Combat Group which had advanced from the south. Reacting to the Allied attack, von Weitinghoff ordered 29th Panzergrenadier Division south to reinforce the Argenta Gap. Its 15th Panzergrenadier Regiment arrived to reinforce 42nd Jaeger Division on 12 April but the rest of the division had been north of the Po and, delayed by air damage and fuel shortages was not in position until 14 April. Early on 13 April the 38th Brigade, of 78th Battleaxe Division, attacked northward from Indian 8th Division's bridgehead across the Santerno River with the objective of seizing a bridgehead across the Reno at Bastia, in the mouth of the Argenta Gap. Meanwhile, to their right, 56th Infantry Division launched, the second phase of its operation, Impact Royal. This involved No. 9 Commando of 2nd Commando Brigade and 24th Guards Brigade advancing up the flooded margins of Lake Camacchio in LVTs to concentrate near Chiesa del Bando, 6 miles northwest of Menet and to develop a threat to Argenta which lay some 3 miles to the southwest of this objective. A foothold was established on the Fossa Marina a canal running roughly east to west from Argenta to the lake and a one mile short of their objective but then the newly arrived 15th Panzergrenadier Regiment blocked further progress and an attempt to take the bridge across the fossa on 14 April was beaten back. In the morning of 14 April forward elements of 38th Brigade had crossed the bridge over the Reno at Bastia, but had been forced back by an armoured counter-attack. It was decided to confine immediate activity to mopping up south of the Reno and await the approach of 167th Brigade which, advancing on both banks of the Reno, would shortly threaten the flank of the defenders north of the river in Bastia and oblige them to retire. Rather than wait for the bridge at Bastia to be cleared, V Corps Commander, Lt. General Charles Keatley ordered 78th Division's 11th Infantry Brigade to use 56th Division's bridges over the Reno in order to get forward towards Argenta without delay. On 15-16 April 56th Division renewed their attack on the Fossa Marina but failed again. However, the cumulative effect of heavy air attacks since 13 April took their toll and on the night of 16 April the 24th Guards Brigade were able to cross the canal with relatively little trouble although their advance was once again halted by resistance about 0.5 miles north of the canal. On the west side of the Argenta Gap 11th Brigade was able to get across the Fossa Marina east of Argenta. The 2nd Battalion, Lancashire Fusiliers were able to hold on to a small bridgehead under heavy fire and counter-attack while engineers positioned ARK armoured mobile bridges to allow supporting tanks to cross the canal. On 17 April 38th Brigade arrived from newly cleared Bastia, and passed through 11th Brigade's bridgehead, tasked with widening the bridgehead to provide space to allow an armoured breakout. 
By dark the brigade had advanced 1,000 yards against determined resistance, working around the rear of Argenta. Meanwhile, 11th Brigade advanced into the town to clear it with the support of crocodile armored flame throwers. An armored counterattack early on the 18th of April was forced back towards 38th Brigade. Meanwhile, on the west outskirts of the town the bridges over the Reno had been attacked and captured by 2nd Commando Brigade which had been advancing up the line of the river from Bastia. Attempted counterattacks on the bridges were broken up by supporting artillery. Also on the 17th of April 56th Division's 169th Brigade was passed through 11th Brigade's bridgehead across the Fossa Marina in order to drive eastwards to clear the north bank of the canal and link with the Guards Brigade. On the 18th of April 78th Division brought forward 36th Infantry Brigade from reserve to pass through 38th Brigade and conduct a series of right hooks north of Argenta. By dawn the brigade had reached Consandolo some four miles northwest of Argenta, where German resistance stubbornly held until well into the afternoon. Meanwhile, a mobile force under the command of 2nd Armored Brigade headquarters comprising one infantry battalion, a tank regiment, a regiment of armored personnel carriers and supporting self-propelled guns and assault engineers was brought forward and, by passing Consonaldo, secured a bridgehead over the Fossa Benvenient one mile north of the town. Advanced elements then pushed forward and before dark overran the artillery gun lines of 42nd Jäger Division. The 78th Division's advance created flank pressure on the German units facing 56th Division so that at midday on 18 April 169th Brigade detected a lessening resistance in front of them. Pushing forward, the brigade advanced to the Fossa Benvenient and captured a bridge intact. To their right the 24th Guards Brigade were finally able to clear Chiesa del Bando, and advance towards the Fossa Benvenient as well. Chapter 5, Aftermath With 56th and 78th Division now clear of the northern end of the Argenta Gap, British 6th Armoured Division, from 8th Army Reserve, was released through the left wing of the advancing 78th Division to swing left to race northwest along the line of the River Reno to Bondano and link up with the U.S. 5th Army units advancing north from west of Bologna, to complete the encirclement of the German armies defending Bologna. Effective Allied bombing of the crossings of the Po and shortage of fuel left much of the German army group's strength and almost all its heavy equipment, and armaments stranded south of the river, so sealing its fate. On 29 April an instrument of surrender was signed by German emissaries at Allied Army HQ and hostilities formally ceased on 2 May. Chapter 6, War Cemetery An Allied War Cemetery is now located at Argenta. Chapter 6, Section 1, Notable Burials Arthur Banks G.C. Tom Hunter Anders Lassen V.C. M.C.